The classrooms have been arranged. Twenty five students per room. Um, the dormitories also, we have tried to make it to decongest it as much as possible. What we have done is that some people won't have anybody lying on top of them or by their, by their side. And then also those who will be sleeping at the top won't get people sleeping down. That's about somehow an arrangement that we have made. So uh, maximum the big rooms are taking about 24 students in instead of 30 something or 40 something. And then um, the smaller rooms, some are taking 13. We have posted every student's name against the door. So the inmates have their list. And then some of the house staff have even gone to the stand of posting their names against their beds. So when you come, you look on the door, you enter, and then you settle. This morning, too, some of the PPEs were brought, so the stock keeper is also around. So when you finish with the dormitory, you walk to the stores, and then you pick your nose mask, sanitizer, and whatever is there for you. So basically, we are dining hall, we have done the arrangements. We will go in two batches. We have said that general arts and business students will go as one batch, and then the rest will also go as another batch. And we have planned the timetable accordingly to suit it so that everybody will eat at the right time. The government is trying to take care of them, giving them a three, feeding them three times in a day. Right? So we don't have any problem about that. Mm. Mm. So you're okay? I'm okay. Mm. I've already bought some items that it will take care like even more than 11 weeks. Mm. Because since they are keeping them here and we cannot come and visit them. So we don't have problem.